Hello, this is Cinema 4D Quick Tips and today we will show you how to trigger the dynamics using plain effector with field. Open the asset browser, search for balloon, drag and drop the blue balloon into the viewport and close the asset browser. Create a cloner, make the balloon a child of the cloner, select the cloner in the object manager, Go to the Object tab, set the count property to 30 in X and Z direction, reduce the size to 25 cm along the X and Z axis, and set the form property to Cylinder. Right click on the cloner in the Object Manager, select Bullet Text, and click on the rigid body. Select the Dynamics Body expression to the right of the cloner in the Object Manager. Go to the Dynamics tab and set the trigger property to Add Velocity Peak. This will allow us to trigger the dynamics after a small movement of the clone. With the cloner object selected, create a plane effector by clicking on the plane icon. Go to the Parameters tab of the plane effector and reduce the PY property to 0.01 cm, since we only need a very small movement. Go to the Field step of the Plane Effector. Click and hold on the Linear Field and select the Spherical Field. And turn off the color. Now animate the field. Let's make the field expand from a point. For this, extend the timeline to 200 frames. Make sure that the time slider is at frame 0. Set the field size to 0. And click on the diamond to the left of the size property to create the first T-frame. Then move the time slider to frame 200, set the field size to 400 cm, and click on the diamond to the left of the size to create the second T-frame. Open the Edit menu, click Project Settings, go to the Bullet tab, and set the gravity to minus 50 cm, so that the balloons fly upwards. Finally, go to the start of the timeline and press the play button in the animation toolbar. Thank you for your attention, subscribe to the channel and put your finger up.